Bronny James yesterday. Yeah. Son of NBA superstar LeBron James collapses on the basketball court at USC. First things first, our prayers up to him and his Hands family. down. You know, Hands I'm not, I'm, I, I am not a fan of LeBron James as a person, but this is, this is his son. This is a human being who collapsed on, on the basketball court, right? Cardiac arrest is uh. what they're calling it. Rushed him to the hospital. He was in the ICU. He's you out said now, the update right? is he's out, out now. He's stable. Okay. Like, he's okay. In stable condition. Yeah. Okay. Um, obviously, you right when you look at this on social media and you click on it, you have you know two different narratives. One is, well, this is obviously the result of a COVID vaccine and our young athletes are falling out. And then you have this other half of people that's like, you know, no, how dare you even mention something about the vaccine, your conspiracy theorist, and just, you know, prayers up to the mm -hmm. young man. Almost every single comment is one of those two things. I'm not going to sit here and ask you about a COVID vaccine for Bronny James because you're not a doctor, and no, I'm not no, a doctor. Like and for science. us to even pretend to, like, know some sort of information like that would be disingenuous, which is why we brought Dr. Peter McCullough on 100%. several months ago after the DeMar Hamlin incident. And I would encourage everyone to go on YouTube and watch our interview with Dr. McCullough because we were very honored to be joined by him. What I will ask you, though, as the first of the five big questions here is, it's, it's just a fact. It's, it's, it's ob objective that we are seeing a rise in the number of athletes yeah. who are falling out from yeah. heart conditions. It's more than it used to be. Forget anything else. Forget vaccines or what happened when the whole world changed during COVID. That is something that should be investigated. Am I 100%. wrong? 100%. We got to find out why this... And it's not like it's happening... To 40, 50 year olds, man, these are like kids in peak conditioning. He's 18. He's 18 years old. Like, he is probably gonna be in the best shape of his life right now. And it's not like he hasn't been playing basketball his whole life or he's hit a, a level of conditioning he's probably not used to. I know he just got to college or something like that, but there has to be something behind this because we're seeing this more and more often. And I'm not saying it's a vaccine, I'm not saying it's this, and I'm saying it's that, it's what you brought up. I'm not a doctor or a scientist or whatever it is, but we really just need to, what is, what is it called? What did Peter, what, myocarditis or something? Carditis. Yeah, or something like that. Whatever it is, man, we got to find out what this is because it is hurting. It's hurting the youth. It's hurting kids. Like, Bronny James, like, he's a hell of a basketball player, man. One, hell of a kid if you see the way he carries himself. Hell of a kid. And two, hell of a basketball player. I'm glad he's doing okay. But we have to find out what is going on. Sure. Like, because it's, at this point, man, it's, 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 getting, it's getting tough to watch. Because, like, a lot, of the, a lot of the situations we don't even hear about. Mm -hmm. And maybe the only that reason we heard about this is because it's LeBron James' son. That is another good point. There's a lot of soccer players yeah. that you and I hear about because we have to track this mm -hmm. stuff, but it's not you know, necessarily in the mainstream headlines. I want to talk about our friends at Halo. All right. Yeah. Whether you're feeling stressed, anxious, or simply just seeking a moment of peace and tranquility, the Halo app has something for you. Halo offers an incredible range of guided meditations and prayers that are designed to help you deepen your sp spirituality and strengthen your connection to God. With Halo, you can explore different themes and types of prayer and meditation, such as gratitude, forgiveness, and centering prayer. We need more of all those things. You can also choose from different links of meditation to fit your schedule, whether you have a few minutes or an hour. So what are you waiting for? Download the Hallow app. That's H-A-L-L-O-W, the Hallow app today at hallow.com slash booster, B-O-O-S-T-E-R. That's hallow.com slash booster for an exclusive three-month free trial mm -hmm. of all 6,000 prayers and meditations. Uh, check that out. Check our friends over at Hallow out, please. That's awesome. I've seen a lot of um, ACLs tear. Right? It's just the nature 100%. of the sport that yeah. I play. I've seen it in person. You know the reasoning for it. You see it, and you understand the risk of playing the game of football. Concussions, another one. A little bit more hidden, right? But it makes sense because you're playing a sport where there's constant, every single play, you're in a head-on collision. Yeah. Imagine getting in a car wreck every mm -hmm. single play. You do that over the course of a career. The CTE that comes with concussions, you can start to understand that. And th there have been billions of dollars to try and make the game of football and other sports that have to deal with CTE safer because this is an important issue. Well, athletes falling out from heart conditions that needs to be something that's looked at too. To me, it's not normal for an 18-year-old otherwise healthy kid you know, to be falling out and having cardiac arrest. Yeah. Now, with his specific situation, there could be pre-existing conditions. I'm sure that they'll run an echocardiogram on him and, and do all these things. But, and if this were just one-off case, us drawing some sort of parallel to a vaccine or whatever situation would be absurd. 
I'm saying there's a large enough sample size now to have a conversation or to at least look at what's going on. Oh, I mean, 100%. And it's, I mean, have they not looked into what's going on that, kind of already? That's like, my biggest, look, that's my biggest I'm fear. Not, Maybe not. Like, well, that, that there's no, well, if anything, they're definitely going to look into it now because this is LeBron James' son. You say that, but it, it, like when it comes to, th th that's my point, is that when it comes to concussions and you say like, man, this isn't good for athletes, we should look into that. No one is on the other side saying, oh, that's a conspiracy theory, you're out of your mind, right? Like, sure, the NFL had an initiative early on to, like, not have to pay out billions of dollars, I guess, for to, like, look after concussions or yeah. treat them or something. That's a little bit different. I'm talking about just people in the general public. But you post something about this, about heart conditions, all of a sudden people think you're a conspiracy theorist if you start talking about it could be the result of things that you've put in your body. Yeah, well, people don't want to find out the truth. People just want things to fit the narrative. And again, That's I don't know, uh, like, I'm not going to pretend to know what the truth is. We don't Maybe know. it is absurd that a heart condition comes from a, a vaccine that you may get when you're younger or the new COVID one. That's I don't been know. proven though, right? I don't know. I mean, the, to a certain level, I mean, hell, Peter, I mean, Peter came on here and said it. I mean, he. If anybody knows, he knows. Well, he, I'm again, not saying this happened to, to Bronny. He James. was much more careful with his language because he can be because he's a doctor. Yeah, you know what I mean. And so, like, I'll let doctors. And we'll, we'll, here's what we'll do. We had him on when the Demar Hamlin situation happened. Let's have on other experts. From from, I want to have experts on who, you know, cover all sides. One hundred percent. I just want to. I just want to find out the answer. Mm -hmm. I want this to stop happening. And maybe there'll come. Maybe something will come out with Bronny James that he had a pre-existing heart condition, and it all makes more sense. I don't know. YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's catch you on the next one.